Hi guys, Vision 4K here. Um, finally getting around to doing this uh, unbox and setup of the uh, Fluval AquaClear 70. Um, I actually had purchased this a while back, but it's just sitting in the storage. And so a quick, quick update on that. Um, I, this is actually isn't the first one I purchased. The first one I purchased, I was. Um, I opened it up and it was, it was cracked, so I had to take it back. Um, shout out to Petco for having an awesome return policy. Um, I was well past 30 days. Actually, as a matter of fact, it was 63 days on the receipt um, after the date of purchase. So uh, they have a good policy. Definitely recommend buying from Petco. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Um Okay, so I got a replacement one. Uh, my initial impressions were that it was not as robust and I was going to just, you know, get store credit and buy something else, but I didn't want to just, you know, um, not try it out just because, you know, I had that issue with it being cracked, with the body of the filter being cracked. And I'll run some video here on the side of that. Um, so I want to give it a try. You know, I really like Fluval products, um, and they give a good warranty. So, um, two years on this one. But yeah, I wanted to try them out, so this is what I'm doing. And, uh, it's brand new, as you can see, still in the, uh, the wrapper. Now, as with all my videos, um, unboxing and stuff, I like to show you guys the box. Uh, just so you can kind of see the, uh, the packaging info and stuff. So, uh, fast forward if you're not interested. But yeah, uh, this is the AquaClear 70. Uh, it was formerly had a different packaging there. Um, it's still made by Hagen and produced or uh, marketed by Fluval now. So, it's, it's the same thing really. And uh, yeah, so this is for aquariums 40 to 70 gallons with a flow rate of 300 gallons per hour now here on the side it's just got some of their uh, media inserts and stuff uh, I'm not going to use any of that but yeah it's some stuff they offer here is a tank size guide as well as the uh, output for each um, filter now this filter is going on a 125 gallon tank it's going to be replacing my Tetra Whisper, which uh, I did a review on that, so if you're interested, check that out. Um, that one was a good filter, uh, a good cheap filter. Uh, I wanted something a little more, um, how can I say it, like uh, modular, I guess you could say. And I'll get to that when I get to the uh, setting up the biomedia and stuff. So this is basically the way the uh, this filter here works. It's got a media tray where you can load up stage one, two, and three. But really, I mean, you can just set this up however you want. Um, I'm going to do a, something slightly different than this, but this is what it, it comes with. So you get a mechanical foam filter, a, uh, you get activated carbon, and you get uh, Biomax, which is kind of like some kind of uh, ceramic um, biomedia. So, yeah, but like I said, I'll set this up differently um, and I'll show you guys. And then last but not least here is just the diagram of the water where it flows in through the, the uh, intake and then out back into the tank. So, yeah. you guys could pause to read. But anyways, let's get to it. So here's the manual. Um, definitely recommend you guys, you know, take the time to read stuff. Uh, well, read your manuals and stuff. Uh, it's good to have, and always keep it around in case you need it. Um, another thing with boxes and receipts, what I like to advise people to do is hang on to the original packaging. Just stick the receipt in there in case you ever have to do uh, warranty claims or exchanges or whatever. Which makes it that much easier, so uh, that's what I like to do is just hang on to, to stuff. Okay, so 
here on the side, you've got your filter media. Now it comes with the three stages like it shows there on the box. Um, your coarse mechanical filtration, this is going to get the uh, particles, the larger particles out of your water and uh, it'll help to floss. Uh, it's not as good as a floss pad but um, it helps. Also beneficial bacteria will grow in there so that's cool too. Um, so what I'm doing is this will be my first stage. So I'm going to have that there. I'll set that there for now. For my second stage, what is not included in the box is a polishing pad. Now this is just a, uh, a piece of foam padding. It's real fine, so it's really small. It's going to polish the water well. Um, and what I do is I buy this from Walmart and I just cut it to size. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just close enough is fine. I had already pre-cut this when I was doing the other video for the, uh, the defective unit. Um, but anyways, yeah, so uh, it's an easy way to save money and if you're looking for a polishing pad, this works well. Just make sure you get the uh, one that doesn't say antibacterial or something like that. Just make sure that it's just plain. Okay, so there's gonna be stage one and stage two. As I mentioned before, it comes with uh, activated carbon which is pretty cool, uh, but for me, I'm actually not going to use this. Um, I'll hang on to it though in case I ever uh, medicate my tank or if ever I need it in the future. It comes in a little baggie, so it's not going to just like spill out everywhere. That's cool. So I'll set that aside. And finally, you get your, uh, your biomedia. Now, I mentioned I'm not 100% sure what type of material this is, but it feels like maybe ceramic type deal. So it's porous and it's going to allow your beneficial bacteria to colonize in there. And uh, that's pretty cool. One of the things that I noticed it, it doesn't come with is it doesn't come with like a little baggie, kind of like the, the carbon does. So this is just kind of like free floating in there. Now you don't want to put that just, you don't want to throw it just like this in a tank because it gonna get messy and you know the media might find its way into the impeller or whatever so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually adding another source of biomedia too which is um, lava rocks now most of my tanks I use lava rocks um, they're cheap and they work you know they're porous and uh, it gives good surface area it's not the best I know but it's cheap and it works so that's what I use now what I did here was I just, uh, I took some uh, laundry bag material, just cut it up and uh, I zip tied the top here uh, just to kind of contain it all so it's not just like flopping around everywhere in there. Um, so that's going to go there like that and that is what I'm going to do to this media here. So. I cut out another piece, right? Another thing too is uh, make sure you rinse off everything. Um, just make sure you get no contaminants on on your stuff. You always want to rinse off your media because uh, this is going to be real powdery and flaky or whatnot. So um, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm back. So I just got a, uh, a little t-shirt here to soak up the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, Cut this media, fill it up in the baggie, and then dunk it in some tank water. I recommend use tank water whenever you're cleaning out media. Um, it doesn't have to be tank water. It could be um, like purified water or whatever, like RODI or whatnot. But um, you definitely don't want to use um, tap water, you know, because it's got chlorine and all of that, uh, all those chemicals in there and stuff. And that's not, you don't want that along your media. Though. See, it's all powdery and stuff in there. You don't want to get that in there. So that's why we're going to rinse it off and so I'm basically just going to scoop it up and zip tie it. 
just like I did with the lava rocks. Um, I know this isn't like fancy or whatnot, but it works. I'm always trying to save a couple bucks here and there. So um, I actually I wasn't aware that this filter came with this biomedia, so that's a plus. Um, I was just planning to use the lava rocks, but I figured I'll use both. I need to get it to where they're all contained in there and just zip tie it. And then all your bacteria is going to grow in there and the filter is going to do well. Okay. Alright, so as you can see here, all of this. Um, all of this is from the biomedia itself. It's like uh, just real fine grain sand or ceramic or whatever. But uh, yeah, you don't want that getting in there. So like I said, tank water. I already got some here in a bucket and I'm just going to uh, dunk it in there a couple times just to get all of that extra sand off. Whoa, actually. A little bit of the media came out, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to rinse these off also. Um, and now those are ready to go in the filter. Okay, so for the actual filter itself, um, now they're called Aqua Clear because uh, obviously it's, it's a clear plastic uh, it's kind of cool it's not just clear it's kind of like uh, has a smoky tint to it so it's like translucent it's pretty cool so this is the lid and um, as I mentioned before my first my initial thoughts were that uh, the plastic is not as robust you know and I hate to say it but it feels kind of like flimsy and not so strong or whatnot the tubes are fine it's just the housing you know and as I was thinking that, yeah, I was looking, inspecting the uh, the plastic body, and I noticed a crack, and that was not cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you do buy one of these, I recommend that you uh, inspect it thoroughly, and uh, just to make sure that you know you don't have a crack or whatnot. So this is the filter body, um, there's the impeller there, and uh, like I said, you just want to make sure you don't have any cracks or breaks or anything. Uh, the one I had was here in the corner, and uh, I didn't even want to bother trying it because yeah, I knew it was probably going to leak. Um, so yeah, just make sure you check them out, check out every corner, every crack both inside and out because um, it's just a hassle going through returns and stuff. It's easier if you catch it right away and do an exchange. But this one looks pretty good so I'm gonna continue forward with it. Now this little thing that it comes with here is a leveling device. It plugs right into this little hole down here. And what that's gonna do is help keep the filter body level. Um, along the side here so uh, let's see if I can get that yeah there it is right there so it's got these little prongs where they uh, right there or depending on the thickness of the glass you know you can switch to different settings and it'll help keep this entire thing level the glass will be here those prongs will keep it level pushing the aquarium or the filter in or out so that's what that's for um, so that's pretty cool uh, the tubing just pops right in. Uh, you want to keep this side towards the back end because this is going to uh, regulate the flow. So it just slides in like that to this group here. Just pops in. And then of course the tubes just kind of go in there. 
Um, okay, so now for the actual filter media tray. Um, you know, I bought this filter to see how it does against the Seachem title because they're both really good uh, filters and whatnot, and uh, they're about the same price. Um, so that's what I'm. That's my goal long term is to compare these two firsthand. Um, but anyways, the media tray is pretty simple. It's just everything kind of sits in there, and then it just goes inside the box here. You just so this thing also is kind of flimsy and you know it has these teeth here on the side to capture the media so it's just gonna sit there and then that's the foam the coarse foam and then the floss foam and then the lava rocks and the included biomedia right there so it's just gonna sit like that now I'm just gonna close it up it doesn't click or anything so you gotta hold it by these two finger tabs and then just drop it into the uh, the filter box Tight fit. Super tight fit. Okay. But yeah, it'll break in with time, so no worries there. Um, and you just uh, place the lid over, and here it's got a plus or minus symbol there. I can kind of see it. There's the plus right here. The minus, and that's just for the outflow of water. Now it should sit flush. The top's gonna sit flush, and then you just stick it in there. Um, well, you attach the intake tube, and then put it in the tank. So I've already cleared out the other filter, and I'm ready to pop this one in. So let's head over there and do that. Okay, guys. So this is the aquarium that's going in. Uh, like I said before, it's a 125. Um, primarily I use a Sun Sun 404B canister filter and a uh, yeah I like to run a hang on the back just as you know to supplement it um, so yeah uh, I already set it back here um, I was concerned at first because the um, the filter housing the opening here at the bottom where it goes under the tank well not under but over right there and I apologize for the lighting I know it's kind of hard to see but um, that's really narrow and the bracing on the tank here is kind of thick so I thought it wasn't gonna work but it actually ended up uh, just sitting right on the grooves and I checked it so um, it's actually level so it worked out pretty good um, there is a drop off from the water where the water is going to come out you hit the tank waters like it drops off like maybe three quarters of an inch so I'm hoping it doesn't make too many bubbles um, I hate getting micro bubbles that come out of this end here from when the filter is running um, it's one of the drawbacks to hang on the back filters but uh, hopefully it's not that bad we'll see here in a second um, so what I did was I took this little cup here and just filled it up with the tank water and just, just pouring it in there. It's all the way full. Um, and so that's just gonna help the, uh, the filter start up. So now that that's done, I just need to attach the intake tube and um, plug it in. I need two hands for this, so let me take care of that real quick. Okay, so I just set it in there and plugged it in. And as you can see, the water's flowing well. Um, it actually did end up being an issue. Um, the, um, the bracing on there is preventing the intake tube from sitting entirely flush with the, the filter body. So the top is not going to fit flush on there. Uh, 
it's not a deal breaker for me since you know I really can't I can't fault the filter since it's designed for a smaller tank um, but I just kind of wish it it sat flush or whatnot so if you have a larger tank with a larger brace wider brace on there like this um, just know that it may not fit that um, it may not fit perfectly it still works I can see it's outputting the water uh, the water is going through the media and it's working um, so I'm just gonna run it like that um, so if you're planning on putting this on a bigger tank just be aware of that uh, I'm sure on a thinner smaller tank like it says 70 and below will work perfectly fine it's just that this bracing is a little thick um, but even so it's actually outputting out a lot of water so that's cool um, but like I said one thing that I don't like about hanging on the backs is that um, they put out all these these little micro bubbles and uh, so what I'm gonna do to, to try and counter that is just top off my water a little I like to run my water, oh there's my frog, um, I like to run my water like right at the brim um, on the inner brace. So right now it's like maybe half an inch below that so I'm thinking as soon as I top this off it'll be less, less bubbly. But that wraps it up for this video, um, hope you guys like it and I hope it helps if any of you guys are interested in this. I'll do a follow up on this just to see uh, how well it does and how well it compares to the, uh, the title. But uh, there's already a lot of things off the bat that are pushing me more towards the title. Um, but I'll talk about that in a later video. So thanks for watching guys and um, be on the lookout for future videos. I am going to be picking up an FX6 for Black Friday. So that's going to be cool. I actually might take two depending on whether or not um, Petco or PetSmart has their the sale they've been having. Uh, I think for the past like two or three years they've had um, FX6s for like 50 to 60% off on Black Friday. So um, that's a steal and I'm hoping that they have it again this year so I can jump on that. But uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that and uh, thanks for watching guys. Fisher 4K signing off. See ya.